it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for May 2018, where it is solid Taurus time, right? We're coming into this month. We've got Uranus getting ready to come into Taurus. We've got a new moon happening in Taurus. We've got Mercury up there in Taurus. I mean, it is just a Taurus, Taurus time right now. So, and happy birthday, by the way. I am also a Taurus, so I got you. <laughs> All right, Taurus, but let's be really real here. This is going to be an exciting month. It kicks off a big piece of a new journey that you're going to be going on, okay? Uranus only comes back to your sign once every 84 years. 84 years. 84 years. Think about this. This is huge, okay? So, Taurus, what Uranus is trying to do is he's saying, Taurus, you're sexy, you're beautiful, you're practical, you've got some really amazing things going on, but who you are has got to shatter, and I'm going to bring in something brand new. It's innovative. It's intuitive. It is going to be a collectively new you, and Taurus, that is exactly what's coming up over the next seven years while Uranus works on you. Now, here's an interesting thing, you know, you've got Uranus moving into this Earth energy, and as we know, we don't love to just pick up and change, but we're going to have to. So how do you work with Uranus and Taurus if you're a Taurus? You take a deep breath, you garden, you walk, you say to yourself, change is beautiful. You accept that maybe a couple days out of this month you feel like an alien within your own body. It's okay. You're being reset. And what Uranus is also going to bring in while he shatters your whole life is a brand new cast of characters to walk with you. Your new helpers, your new teachers, your new friends, your new ideas about what you're even interested in are also going to run to the table as well. So, not always a big fan of change, I know that, but this is change that is so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous, so try and embrace it the very best that you can, okay? But let's get in here and talk about this month so I can get you out enjoying the Taurus time. Happy birthday, by the way. All right, on the 3rd of May, what we've got is Mercury leaving its shadow time, and I want you to make note of that because it means that Mercury's not in kind of a held up weird orbit anymore. He's straight on, direct, forward. We're receiving the blessings, communications, decision-making, all of these things should have a straightforward line for you. If you are needing to, in the area where Mercury is, is sitting for you, if you're needing to make decisions, communicate, anything like that, you should find it happening a lot more freely, okay? So it's kind of a nice energy. Now, on the 12th, I think this is important to note as well, Mars is going to move into the shadow period before it's retrograde. Now, if you don't know what the shadow period is before a retrograde, it's kind of when the planet is like, oh, I'm packing my bags to get ready to go on a trip, right? And then it takes a retrograde, we stop receiving the full blessings. It flips back around as direct. We get some more of the blessings, but it's still got to get home and unpack. So it's got another side of the shadow period. Mars is going to be coming into the first part of its shadow period on May 12th. That's important to note because you may see that your actions get different. You're trying to push something forward and you're like, why isn't this moving? Why am I not as enthused about this? Why is this not my biggest desire? If you're questioning all of these things, remember to act more purposefully, okay? Think about what you're doing, stop. Why am I investing my energy here? And if you don't have a solidly good uh, reason for why you're investing your energy there, let it go, Taurus. Really let it go. And that sounds easy enough for us, but it's not. We're getting a shake up and a shift, so you may be a little ungrounded. Now, Mars is gonna be sitting at the top of your chart with Pluto up here in the ninth house. So really giving you practical action and helping you outgrow some old behavior. So for some of you, what this could realistically look like is maybe you've got something going on in education or you've got something going on where you're finishing certificates. Anything like that could certainly be something that's on the table. You're working towards something. You're getting a bigger picture, but you're also letting go of some old behavior. So I think this is a beautiful energy to be wrapped in before we get to this Uranus and Taurus business. Now on the 13th, Mercury is going to move into Taurus, okay? On the 15th, we've got the new moon happening at 24 degrees of Taurus, along with Venus being in Gemini in your second house. And then on the 15th, we've got Uranus officially moving into Taurus until November 16th. Now, in November 6th, excuse me. So now we've got all of this Taurus energy and like a pack of planets over there. So we've got communication that is strong. We've got a new moon planting those new seeds of intention. What do you want here, Taurus? What do you want this to look like? What are some exciting things you've maybe never experienced that you want to experience, right? Put those things out here right now. Right now, Venus is over here in Gemini. It's in your second house. 
value. What do you value? Right? What brings value to your table? The values, the possessions that you have, Taurus, are you using them or is it time to get rid of some of them? This could also have a really beautiful impact on your money. The question I would be asking too is, Taurus, are you doing something in the world and making money by doing it that you love? Do you have a talent that you're sitting on that you haven't brought out? Maybe it's time to bring that to the surface as well. Uranus is certainly going to provide that shakeup, okay? So you'll be able to see yourself watch, move, think, live, and feel in a different light. It's going to be gorgeous. Now, on the 16th, we've got Mars, our action planet, moving into Aquarius. Now, keep in mind, he is still in that pre retrograde shadow time but he's still perfectly effective here at the top of the chart okay he's going to be up there in aquarius in your 10th house so this is career this actually gives a good amount of career push i think um i think the visit at the top of the chart here puts you in a position where you're ready to take some different actions around a career or that soul level calling or even if you are retired you may be saying i want to take some more action around my my purpose but whatever it is you are kind of rethinking and rebounding and, and resetting this professional life that you have or this prof professional mission or this life purpose mission that you have in order to see what is it that you really want to do what do you really want to achieve and what actions are going to get you there and i'm telling you in the next handful of months with uranus and taurus what you may want to do what you maybe found important 30 days ago could start to fall off of you so make space for that <laughs> On the 19th, we've got meet Venus moving into Cancer, into your third house. She loves being here. Venus comes anywhere near Cancer, and they just want to redecorate things. So what you could be doing in the third house is redecorating conversation. You could be thinking different. You could be thinking more kindly, nurturing yourself, um, enjoying your own sensuality. It is birthday time. You could be like, oh, all of this is Taurus. I can't help it. You know, whatever it is, this brings a lot of harmony and diplomacy to things that are going on as well. So with Venus here in Cancer, because it's activating your third house, you've also got Mercury in your sign. It is a wonderful time if you need to sign contracts, you need to make decisions, you're trying to study something, you want to sign up to study something. Wonderful energy, because also remember, Mars is at the top of your chart so anything for learning and advancing yourself becomes beautiful on the 20th the sun moves into gemini as well so now we've got this energy up here of value right we're going to start to question our value our self-esteem we're going to start to think about it more we're going to communicate it more we're going to be social we're going to want to network with people who we believe raise our value we're going to want to start to shed people who we feel are not helping us move towards the real purpose of our value and things like that this is also a wonderful energy um, to see your finances get a little boost as well okay you could start making money by doing something as well. So if you have been looking for a job, this could also be a time I think is gorgeous. On the 29th, as we end this month, we have got a full moon happening in Sagittarius at eight degrees. This is gonna light up your eighth house. And at the same time, we've got Mercury moving into Gemini into your second house. So these are financial houses. Now you are a financial sign. So this is beautiful. I think you're gonna get a greater perspective on maybe one, your debt. Do you have debt that you need to be taken care of? Two, your intimacy and connections with other people, right? So this could be financial aid, loans, taxes. Um, I really think you're going to be taking a look at your budget in some way, shape, or form. You could even, if you own a business, be re-looking at pricing or something like that. But whatever it is, this full moon puts you in a position, I think, to fight for what you want. This full moon brings out a little competition for you. Maybe in, in the market, in whatever way that you're out there, if you have a business, you're competing for school, you may be going, what do I really want? And I'm ready to step up and go and get it right i'm ready to step up and speak for myself about it so i really like the way that you come alive this month taurus it's absolutely glorious so you got to keep me posted on everything that happens post birthday apocalypse right <laughs> and everything that's happening for you in may let me know what changes you're feeling um i'm really interested i am a taurus so I want to hear what the other Tauruses have to say as well, because when Uranus comes into your sign, your sun energy, if you are that sign, it really gets the kind of shakeup that changes the game, I think. So keep me posted in the uh, comments down below, guys, okay? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, get signed up for Astrology 103, which is all about synastry before the spots are gone. I love you guys.